All right, so here's my pre-planning for Bullock's Mansion. First of all, we got the boat entry for stealth. This is probably the most important one. It's kind of a no-brainer, but it's also fairly expensive. It costs six of your 10 favors. This just makes moving all the loot from the wine cellar a lot easier, so that way we don't have to move it that far. And then next of all, we got, next of all, that doesn't even make sense. Anyway, uh, semi-open garage door is next. Just, you know, pretty self-explanatory. The garage door is semi-open. <laughs> Makes getting into the garage easier. And then lastly, because, you know, we have a couple favors left over, just an extra spy cam over in the courtyard area, or the patio. The garage and cafeteria ones aren't really that useful. The patio one is the better of the three, so that's the one I go with. But anyway, that is it for my pre-planning. All right, Bullock's Mansion. Another good heist that I do enjoy stealthing. It has been a while since I have played this one though, so, you know, we'll see how that goes for the sake of the video. But anyway, Bullock's Mansion, fun heist. I do like it. It's a nice conclusion to the Silk Road campaign. I do find it funny how far away you could be to place the thermite on there. He's gonna walk all the way to the end of the hall, isn't he? Of course he is, and we have to wait for him. Just kidding. We'll probably end up killing him later, but for right now, we're not just so 869. Nice. Just in case we need that pager elsewhere, all of the loot down here, we're going to wait on it. If he blocked me, like if he was standing down here and I couldn't go open it up right now, I would just move some of the loot down there. There's only two guards down here. The second one is like sitting at a desk right there. He's pretty easy to avoid though. 69, 65, 69. Nice. 65. If you get the code wrong, you just have to wait for the keypad to reboot. Not really a big deal. But we six cents, because we need to find these guys. So here's our first masked guard. There is four of them. Hopefully this is our guy that has the key card. Or at least that's what I'm hoping for. Okay, this is the metal door, so this is not where the computer will be. Unfortunate. Okay. Scythe is there, keycard door is there. Unfortunate. We'll end up killing that guard just because it'll make life easier, so I'll probably do that if he walks through here. He's not going to, so never mind. Let me just wait for this guy to leave. Okay. So then in here, we got our first of five safes. I do find it funny how far away you could be from a lot of the interactable things. <laughs> you could just be right in the doorway so you could see if guards are coming. Because that masked dude will walk all the way into this room. But like I was saying, there's five of these safes and all five of them will have one bag of coke. So we are going to grab all of them, obviously. Oh, hello. That's unfortunate. That means we're not going to have an extra pager for the guy in the basement. Oh, well. Kind of be like that. Yeah, he'll be fine right there. But anyway, there's two guys on the balcony. Neither one of them have a pager, so we can kill them. This will be our camera room. Since it's the metal door. Hello. behind the desk you what i thought okay so the security room is useful for two things number one getting cameras down very useful but then number two there is a clipboard that will spawn on the outside of the office the mask guy was just walking by right there we'll take a look at it in a second but that clipboard will tell us who which of the mask guards is the one with the key card so it is miguel Nope, wrong button. Miguel. He is our guard with the key card. Okay. So we'll head in here. This is our second safe. Nobody goes in this room, so if you need to hide bodies or anything, this is a great spot to do it. Okay. There is a spot for, I guess, a patrol point, which is probably where that guy's coming right now. This is the other security room spawn so if security didn't spawn over there it would spawn over here of course he stopped there okay but now we could figure out who's who by hacking this computer so we need miguel which is the bird guy bird guy so 
you're the blue guy. And there's a statue. It'll swap places with the keycard room, which is over there. Um, basically, you could use this instead of the keycard. You just got to find the globe and the scythe. I think that never changes, if I recall. But you just find the scythe, give it to him, and find the globe and give it to him. The scythe will be somewhere on the wall down here. And then the globe will be upstairs in his bedroom, usually. Now, I like to place a trip mine on this door here, but it's always dangerous because these stupid civs usually like to spot me, and it's not very fun, you know? Luckily, nobody cares about me. Very cool. Alright. We gotta find the bird guy. Was he the guy by the entrance? I think he was. That looks like it. Okay. It is, in fact, the entrance guy. Oh, there's a scythe. <laughs> bird guy. Those civs are also annoying because, you know me, I like doing things civ pacifist style. You know what I mean? Dealing with those two sieves right there is annoying. And I'm going to need to do it because the keycard room spawned right there. We're also going to kill this guard as well. Not just the guy with the keycard. We'll wait for him to walk over here a little bit so I can shoot him into this office. There we go. Free keycard. Bag him. Toss him. Eh, just in case. Piece of shit drill. All right. One guard there. We're gonna kill that guy. And then we'll have to deal with those civs. Guard. Uh, of course he's walking out there right now. There's a guard here. Keep drilling your piece, keep drilling your keep drilling your piece of shit. I kind of wish I would have gotten the keycard room elsewhere, but I mean, I could grab the scythe, however, you know what I mean? That guard's there is the problem. Let me up. Too short. Why can I not? Oh, because I got cams down. I'm stupid. I was like, why can I not loop this camera? <laughs> you idiot. Perfect. Saves us a body bag. No, everything is fine here. Everything is all okay. All okay here. All good. Keep drilling, you piece of shit. Okay. Now the annoying part. These two civilians. I'll wait for that guy to walk by. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Okay, that worked out very nicely for us. I gotta hurry up and move her before another guard walks by. Obviously, you could just kill these two, but I like doing things Civ Pacifist style, you know what I mean? Okay, so there is one guard upstairs. We will need to be careful of him. There he is. Place a trip mine in there. I'll place one at that corner as well. Never mind, he's going to stop here, but in the meantime, we'll unlock this safe. This is number three, and the last two are in the actual secure area. Okay, and we'll leave that there. Okay. He never goes into the bedroom, so there's that. Actually, I don't even think he walks around that corner. I don't remember, to be honest. There's one. place it over here because we're not going to kill this guy so it would be wise place a trip mine right there 
So you could completely ignore the find his office objective. I was ignoring it. I just wanted to kill that guy. Or, you know, deal with all this, but... Got the key card, then we can head down here. Okay. So, he'll tell us if it's the lamps or if it's the, um, the bookshelves after a while, but we could start interacting with the stuff now. And find out which is which. Okay, we got our first code here. Four, which is the... Uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. My bad. No book there. Two is Colorado. <laughs> There's only four things as well. Oh, damn it, I placed that in the wrong spot. I was hoping to like get it right on the edge, but oh well. I messed that up. I think he said it's the library, so. Okay. Oh, perfect. Works out nicely for me. Okay. They spawn there. Guard. Stay there is a guard that will walk out here. There he is. Yeah, that's Place that there. Okay. Place you there. And then we'll place you right there. Okay. So now we need to find the rest of the clues. Like I said, there's only four of them. We just gotta look. Oh wow, I'm getting really lucky finding these like first try. Then we just gotta find one. Okay, and here's safe number four. Then the last one is in the office, which is through that door that I went through. We got really lucky with the bookshelf. Otherwise, I'd have to like pull off all of the books or whatever. And then this right here, this is where that statue was with the scythe and globe and whatever. Um. This is where the others spawn. They'll just swap positions, you know, if they ever decide to. You know what I mean? Right there, right there. Did I check all the spots over here on this side? There's the one there, and there's the one there. Okay. Now this guy's kind of in our way, so. Oh, I guess while I'm waiting for that guy. We'll start moving some of the coke. Dump it there, and it'll be A-OK -okay right there. We do need to wait for him to move. If I can actually get in there. <laughs> We're invisible. Don't make a sound. Got a card. Perfect. Thank you very much. Okay. So there it is. So the last one is Khan. Khan. Here's the fifth and final safe. We'll just need to be careful of the guy walking in here. While we're, you know, solving the puzzle. It's a pretty simple puzzle to solve. Basically, you know, um, there's a number tied to each of the different things. And then basically you just find the thing and then that's the order you're supposed to push them. So number one is Khan. So we find on can, however you say it, right there, which is a snake. That's not how you spell snake. Sand key. Okay, and then two is the cockadillo, however you say it, cockadrill. And then three is buho, right there, which is, I think that's an owl. Let's just leave, since we gotta wait for that guy. And then we just gotta get four, which is Kanye West. But without the N. Okay. Watch out, guys. Of course he stops there, whatever. And of course this guy's coming this way too. No. Steal your alarm clock. Yeah, 
You know, I think I will be able to manage actually getting to the end without killing any other guards. That way I can kill the roaming guard in the basement. So I don't have to bother waiting for him. I think I could probably manage to do that. Really wanted to grab these ARs from in here. Stupid AKs. Alright, just because they're heavy, you know. These are the only bags that were taken the long way. Imagine having to do this with like all of the other stuff. Yeah, no thanks. I'm good. Come on, dude. I forgot to put a trip mine in that other doorway. I don't have any left anyway because I accidentally misplaced this one. Otherwise, I'd place one there as well. You know what I mean? gonna play the waiting game a little bit longer. Just kidding, I'm not waiting. <laughs> you thought I was gonna wait. Okay, he's not marked, so hopefully he's not... Okay, cool. Alright. I mean, we've already dealt with the most difficult part, and that was dealing with those two civilians without without anything going wrong, you know what I mean? Now it's just a matter of figuring out the code and getting back to his office, but the thing is, where is this bozo at? I'm a little... I just got jump scared by this. Made me think I was a guard for a second. <laughs> you idiot. There he is. Alright, anyway, what was the last one? Kanye. Kanye West. Where is that at? Uh, 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 there it is. Fish. So four is fish. Cool. Alright. Now, we'll start stealing some of this. He's going to go this way, so we'll go this way. Never mind, he's going to leave. Well, while we're waiting, we'll let out the shark. Let out Mr. Where is he? There he is, Mr. Shark. Have fun. Enjoy your new life, friend. Your life in this shitty fish tank is now done. You can now be free. Look at him, he's just a little goofy goober. Eventually he'll <laughs> he'll leave. He's still out there, yeah, there he is. He's leaving! Woohoo! He's free! That was risky, but I wasn't waiting for that guy any longer than I already have been. Alright, so basically that's what we'll do. We'll grab the rest of the loot out of there later, dump it here, and then we'll take it from here, because obviously there's a lot of loot moving, so there's going to be a lot of fast forwarding. We'll move that loot from here to about here, go back, grab that stuff, bring it in here, then after that, we bring it up here. This guard's not marked right now, so... Mm, that's just six cents. I don't want to risk it. Okay. He's not here right now, which is great. I would like to know exactly where he is. There he is. Oh, I was wrong. I was misremembering. I said he doesn't go in the office. He does, in fact, go in the office. Okay. So one is Snake. Where's Snake? Snake. Two is the Croc is right there. Three is the owl, which is... Where's the owl? Where's the owl? Right there. And four was the fish. Where's the fish? Where's the fish? There it is. Fish. Oop. There we go. Make the piece of shit fall in the ocean. I got you, Vlad. Don't you worry about it. Being very careful about what to do next. Kill me and uh, you will live to regret it. Will I now? Get over the edge. Idiot. 
Oh no, he's still alive. Dang, what do we do about it? Oh, our friend! Our friend, Steve the Shark. So true, Vlad, so true. Alright. Let me place that. That does that. And then, while we're waiting... Oh, here's a present. It's tied to an achievement. But, um... Just toss the bags over there. Make sure to angle it more to the right, because then they teleport right next to the bag secure point, which is super convenient. And that's where we're going to move all of those bags to, as well as the ones from the office. And then, after that, we'll have to go through double-check the five safes to make sure I actually got everything. Uh, did I get... Because I left the one by the front. I grabbed the one from the bedroom, as well as the AKs. Yeah, I mean, we'll just have to double-check all the safes. Um, just to make sure I got them all, but then we'll bring them all to there. Throw them all off the edge, just like, you know, I did there. If you throw them too far right here, they'll get stuck on, like, some invisible barrier. Then you can never get that bag of loot ever again. It's just trapped there forever. So make sure to, like, chuck it really far to the right. Just, like, line yourself up, like, with that and toss it there. And we'll grab the hard drive for Vlad. There's that bozo, so we will just ignore him. We'll start with this one, I guess. Right. Another bag into the ocean. Oh no. Boom, teleported. Yep, that's pretty much the heist completed. Now it's just a matter of bag moving. So, um, you already know the drill. Dead eye. Good track. Good track. That is the last bag that is 21 bags quite a lot and luckily i didn't miss and land one on top of this cave thing um which would have been unfortunate i'm not sure how we're all supposed to fit <laughs> on this boat now that there's a ton of i don't even know how he's fitting on there but um either way that's ball sacks i mean a uh, bullock's mansion completed 
So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. That's it for the Silk Road campaign. Next up will be the City of Gold, which I do really enjoy all four of the City of Gold campaign heists. They're all really good and they're all very fun to do stealth. So hopefully you are looking forward to that. In the meantime, if you enjoyed this video, I would greatly appreciate you dropping a like on it. And if you happen to be new to my channel, I'd also really appreciate you subscribing. With all that being said, take care. Have a great rest of your day, morning, afternoon, evening, nighttime, or whatever time it is for you and whatever time zone you are in. And I'll catch you all later. Death Wolf, out. Now I have some new business to think of. I kill her speak again. Do you see Daniel? Do you see Daniel? Do you see Daniel? Do you see Daniel?